here we are, we're out here in the Mojave Desert, standing beside what's arguably one of the most incredible botanics nature's ever created. It's called the, as a desert would imply, the name would imply the Mojave Yucca, or also technically it's called the Shadegra Yucca. But because it grows in what's arguably the harshest environment anywhere on the planet, nature has seen fit to endow it with some special characteristics, making it arguably the most potent adaptogen anywhere on the planet. This is the most stressful environment on the planet. Understand that the Mojave Desert, first off, you've got insect attacks, you've got wind, you've got freezing cold, tons of snow in the winter. You got the highest recorded temperature anywhere in the world right here, because this is, we're just a few miles from Death Valley here, you know, and this is where this plant uh, grows and thrives. It has limited moisture and plant may go several years and not even see water, yet the plant doesn't just survive, but it thrives and it flourishes because of all of these constituent natures and data with. So it, same way it works in this plant, all of this foliage that grows around the desert owes their very existence to all these constituents from this plant because it shares them with these other botanics. Now we're using it to share with mankind so that we can live happier, healthier lives and restore balance. An aptogen is something found in nature that has the innate ability to be able to restore balance. It could be restoring balance in the soil, could be restoring balance in the air, could be storing balance in water, could be storing balance in the gut. And this is primarily what we use this particular botanic for. When we talk about being endowed with a lot of special characteristics, aside from being an adaptogen, or what makes it an adaptogen are uh, First off, it comes with a full complement of all your vitamins, vitamin A, all your B complexes, vitamin C, comes with minerals, trace minerals, zinc, copper, magnesium, manganese, potassium, silver, zinc, all of these uh, minerals and trace minerals that go to supporting different organs and glands in the body, such as your adrenals, for example. So the, the adrenal glands require a considerable amount of trace minerals in order to function properly. Uh, the other thing the plant comes with are what we call Phytosterols. Phytosterols are plant steroids, unlike uh, the steroids that we think of, of athletes using. These are natural occurring metabolic steroids, and their function in nature is to enhance the activity of the friendly flora, whether it's in the soil or again in the body. In the case of the body, it's in the gut. So when you enhance the ability of the aerobic or friendly flora in the gut, they can come forth in greater numbers. They'll produce up to 60,000 times more enzymes consequently have a propensity to be able to break down more effectively any waste that accumulates in the gut. So when we talk about life and death uh, begin in the, in the gut or in the colon, that's a fact because that's where most of our accumulated waste resides. And as a result of that, nature provides about 80% of our immune system is embedded in the gut. Uh, we have uh, also polyphenols. Polyphenols are something that a lot of people aren't familiar with. Medical science now is make, touting all the benefits of, of the polyphenols, and particular ones called still beans are found uh, abundantly in the, in the bark of this particular plant. This is resveratrol, transresveratrols, uh, also what they call eucols, five different fractions. So these polyphenols are able to uh, reduce stickiness in blood platelets, for example, so you get increased uh, blood flow, allows for greater circulation of blood through your capillaries, your arteries, your veins, etc. So people with cardiovascular challenges, this can be a, a great boost for that. One of the things that we've promoted this for is for uh, cleansing the gut and the body. And this is critical because anybody in the natural health arena has heard the phrase, uh, life and death begin in the colon. And the reason that is, is that that's where primarily all of our toxic waste resides, is in the gut. It accumulates in the gut. It's food that hasn't been properly processed. And when left there, it impacts in the walls of the colon. It rots, it putrefies, decays. And as the body absorbs these poisons, the next thing you know, we have a condition. Now, the body has an innate wisdom, and that wisdom wants to protect us from any of these challenges. So it immediately starts to coat the gut wall with mucus to prevent the absorption or allowing these toxins to get through into the bloodstream where they can cause irreparable damage. 
The problem then, it's like a catch-22, is that the body can no longer absorb nutrients through the gut wall that it needs because of this mucus. And as a result of that, the body becomes, we become overfed and undernourished. We're not getting the nourishment in the cells that are constantly crying for more nourishment. We think we're hungry, so we eat more. So we, that's one of the problems with obesity. It's, it's because we got an accumulated amount of, of waste in the system. Now, the beautiful thing about the phytosterols, the phytosterols in this are able to motivate the friendly flora in the gut come forth in greater numbers, they produce about 60,000 times more enzymes. These enzymes can more effectively now break down that solid waste into tiny particles that it becomes easy for the body to discharge. Now, the other problem, of course, we talked about is this mucus lining on the gut wall. Well, we have another substance in this plant called saponins. These are nature soap molecules. As we know, soap molecules are a large fatty molecule. They're able to bind with anything toxic in the gut, such as, uh, of course, the mucus coming off, the bile salts, bile acids uh, produced by the liver. These are the precursors to cancers, liver cancer, pancreatic cancer, colon cancer. So it's able to bind with these, force them to be excreted so they can't be absorbed into the system. The other thing that it does the same with would be your LDL cholesterol. LDL cholesterol, which is we call our bad cholesterol, well, it binds with that, takes it out so that the body can't absorb that either. So automatically we're lowering our bad cholesterol levels in the body. So it means that we don't have to be dependent on insidious toxic drugs like your statin drugs, for example, that come with a whole array of side effects. So in effect, what this does is it's able to eliminate the cause of most of our conditions, number one. Number two, puts the body in a better posture so it can absorb the nutrients that the body requires in order for healthy living.